Today, we're going to be looking at the very best shotgun in all of Starfield. And no, it's not the shoddy, it's not the breach, it is the Big Bang. And I'm not even going to stop there. I'm going to make a case for the Big Bang being potentially one of the best guns in all of Starfield. And you're going to see why. Now, not just any Big Bang. We're going to look at the very best version that I've come to know of, of the Big Bang. And the very best version of the Big Bang is the Concussion Tactician's Advanced Big Bang. This absolutely ridiculous ridiculous shotgun has insanely good range insanely good damage against human alien and robots and this particular version will do more damage each consecutive shot dealing more damage it also has corrosive damage which reduces the target's armor over six seconds and then the biggest kicker that just turns very hard mode into easy mode is small chance to knock down targets this obliterates any other shotgun that you will find in the game and we're going to go through why and we're going to look at some comparisons and basically i'm going to blow you away with this gun because it's absolutely overpowered they probably will nerf this because it is a rifle and a shotgun it covers all scenarios you don't need any other gun and it turns very hard into easy it's honestly completely broken Anyway, let's get into it. Now, at first glance, when you look at the Concussion Tactician's Advanced Big Bang, which we're just going to call the Big Bang from now, doesn't look overly impressive. The value, it's not even that expensive, even with all the mods added to it. The damage, 129 physical. That's that's pathetic, really, in the scale of physical damage. And you have energy, which is an insanely high value for an energy weapon, which is where this really shines. 435. So at first glance, you're thinking this is pretty average, but being a legendary, you get three extra perks. So let's have a look. So the Furious, each consecutive hit deals more damage. So being a shotgun, it's quite easy to hit the target multiple times in a row. And the second perk at the same time will randomly deal corrosive damage, which reduces the target's armor, which is also adding and abating the Furious perk. So the Furious perk and the Corrosive perk are like feeding each other. Just constantly more hits, more damage, less armor, making it one of the best sort of balances between perks that you can really get, which means it scales perfectly in balance. More shots, less armor, more damage. And then you throw in Concussive, small chance to knock down the target. Now it says small chance to knock down the target, but it is almost every second shot. And this will turn any level opponent into a ragdoll, sometimes knocking them out for possible minutes, which means... When you're in a tight space and you're dealing with multiple targets, you only have to deal with one or two at a time because you can simply knock down an enemy and they'll be concussed and then you can deal with the others, which just gives you so much insane flexibility and a dynamic way to play. And now you'd think this being a shotgun, terrible range. No, the range is exactly like a rifle. Being able to shoot pinpoint accuracy in insanely far distances. Because it's an energy weapon, it's basically an instantaneous hit. There's next to no travel time either of the shots. There's also little to no recoil in this gun, which means taking consecutive long shots over long distances is really easy because there's no recoil. You can adjust your aim very quickly and easy. I've really, really struggled to find any kind of weakness that this shotgun has. It performs well in every scenario, in every type of situation doesn't really have any weaknesses. Before we dive into some comparisons and some live testing, we're just going to walk through some of the best options in terms of mods and upgrades that you can get for this gun. So we'll just have a quick look at the barrel. We have a choice, long barrel, standard barrel and extended barrel. Long barrel will increase accuracy, recoil control and range at the cost of aim down sight speed. In my experience, I've really, I've really preferred the extended barrel just because that accuracy, recoil control and range is just brutal and devastating. Obviously, the choice here is no-brainer. We've gone the recon laser to give us extra range. Now, the optic. So we only have two choices, unfortunately, because if you could get a scope on this, you could do some really insane long shots. But we've just got the re reflex sight. Now, for the muzzle, this is an important choice because there's quite a few different options here. This one is a bit of a tricky one to sort of come to terms with because the focus nozzle will increase your energy and physical by a substantial amount. But that also focuses your nozzle, whereas... The double barrel muzzle is changing the rounds to go through two barrel attachments for different spread shots. And we actually want to encourage more of a spread because what we're trying to do is we're trying to encourage triggering the perks as much as possible. And by increasing the spread, we should therefore increase the furious perk, which means more consecutive hits, which means more corrosive damage, which means more furious damage. So it just stacks, not infinitely, but it stacks very well. And that's why going for a bigger spread 
least in my mind, is the best option. Whereas obviously focus, it's going to be more hard hitting, but it's also going to be less chance of those bullets hitting targets, which will then engage the perks. But don't get me wrong, still an excellent choice and definitely worth trying as well. But do note that it does actually reduce your accuracy. So not exactly straightforward when you compare the two. Now the option is you could go the focal lens, but it's still focusing the spread of this gun. Moving on to the grip. So we have two choices, standard stock or the er ergonomic stock, no brainer here. This will increase our aim down sight and our accuracy. Magazine and battery is simple because we have a choice between standard and annihilator rounds. Obviously going to go annihilator rounds. And that's how I've set up my concussion tactician's advanced big bang and kind of the theory behind it. Now we're going to move on to some real world testing. And the best way to kind of do this is just create a scenario that's replicatable that you can repeat with all the guns. So I've just found a level 98 pirate legend and the test will be which gun is it the most easiest and efficient to take down a level 98 pirate legend on very hard. Now keep in mind on very hard, these guys are bullet sponges, but it's a good way that we can see the difference in terms of how these guns work from a very basic functional level, but also compare them because they're all legendaries, which gives us a reasonable idea. Now the caveats to this, the best test obviously would be to have three guns with all the same perks, but but seeing how the shoddy and the breach aren't particle weapons, still they're still not gonna be in the same league. So I'm sure there's some really unique and fantastic shoddy legendaries, as well as breach legendaries, but I still don't think they'll ever really come close to the Big Bang. So let's get into it. So first we'll have the shoddy, then we'll go the breach, and then finally we'll do the Big Bang. Okay, so first up is the shoddy. Now the shoddy is an insanely fast firing shotgun. Does reasonable damage, but you can see it's very distracting having that kind of crazy kick recoil, especially when you're aiming down the sights. That kind of kick does make it very hard to continually hit targets, but in close range, it's excellent. But you can see in this scenario, it's an absolute disaster. Just can't put enough damage in now, you could probably swap in for armor piercing rounds, which might make this a bit better. But again, it's still not going to be enough. There's just too much HP on this legend and the gun just doesn't have enough oomph to pull it through that I can only really one on one this guy. I don't have time to worry about any other targets. I can only solely focus on this one target because of how this gun is designed. Okay, next up we have the breach. Now this breach is potent. It does a lot more damage than the shoddy. It's very effective at headshots, does a lot of damage, has a really slow reload time, but you can see here, it's still, the legend can take so many shots from this gun. Now there was some weird thing there at point blank where the gun wasn't doing any damage, but you can see here, I'm still pump, pumping him with some headshots, body shots, still taking quite a significant amount of time to drop him. But also note, you got to consider that it's taking a lot of time, I'm having to maneuver, and to find myself in another situation where I have to put all my focus into one target. And again, it's not giving me many other options. I didn't do the most perfect job getting those headshots and getting the hits perfect, but it is a good example. But if you see the Big Bang, it just simplifies it. First shot, he's on the ground. I can take my time. I can look at other, other shots and I can just basically stand still and take my time. Now here, I have to little jig a little bit. I'm not going to use a health pack. And I get another shot onto him. I can take my time. Just because this gun allows for so much flexibility. And if you get it perfect run like this one, you get a couple headshots. You can just, you know, hit a shot, take your time, move around. And this is why it's the best shotgun in the game. Because it just simply allows you to stay in so much control and dominate any situation. Because this is one of the toughest opponents. And this might as well be on easy mode. You wouldn't really be able to tell. This is just one scenario to highlight how good the Big Bang is in comparison to other shotguns. I'm going to post another video where it's just going to be these three guns going through an entire scenario where we can highlight the long range, short range, and versatility of all three weapons. I'll put a link to that video up the top here and in the description. So that would be really interesting to get your feedback to see what you think is the best shotgun out of these three. Now we're going to do a comparison against what many people consider the best weapon in the game and that's the Varun Inflictor and the Varun Star Shard. These two guns are often considered some of the best guns in the game because just like the Big Bang, physical damage and energy damage and all three of these guns are particle beams which are some of the very best types you can get in Starfield excluding renamed which are obviously in their own category extremely rare. Let me know if you found one, <laughs> love to find one. We're gonna do a similar test against the level 98 Crimson Legend. Now note that the Crimson Legend 
can kill us in you know half a magazine on very hard so it's very critical that you are able to take this enemy down one-on-one -on -one quite easily and efficiently and, and the inflict does give you quite a bit of optionality and it's definitely a very potent weapon and it does take quite a few shots to get this now i'm not hitting the head the whole time but you can see that i'm doing reasonably damage and getting him down a very reasonable weapon it's got an all-round good range and definitely recommend this as a possible you know top tier gun definitely when it says it's the best and now we'll have the concussion and straight away it just simplifies every scenario making it very easy this guy becomes a ragdoll for most of this if you could find a gun that has the same perks as the big bang since it's not a shotgun that has extreme range, it's still going to be missing some of these critical run and gun sort of aspects that the Big Bang gives you. Now we'll move on to the Star Shard. So the Star Shard versus a level 98 Pirate Legend, one of the few particle beam pistols, and it does amazing damage, great range. Pretty versatile, but say in this sort of situation where you do have an enemy that takes a huge whop to, to get down and destroy it's not too bad in these sort of situations but uh, it still takes quite a bit of time you got to be pretty accurate trouble with these sort of enemies is you can't get real close because they will kill you within a few seconds and i've got the mod on that gives you it fires two bullets at the same time so it certainly packs a punch next is the big bang and the big bang again just you know simplifies it knocks him to the floor being a shotgun you haven't even concussed him got amazing range pinpoint accuracy it just makes this so much easier and simple so this is again just really highlights how good the big bang is this version of it is now i could go on for hours about how much better the big bang is compared to 99 percent of the guns that you get in starfield but best to see it for yourself so i'll put up a video where we compare some of the run throughs with the different shotguns and other guns so you can get an idea get a real insight to how potent this weapon is. But that's going to be it for the video. Thanks so much for watching. If you got anything out of this or you think this weapon isn't the best gun or not even a good shotgun, let me know in the comments. Really keen to hear what you think. There's not many people have talked about it. It's very little information about this weapon on the internet right now. So it's really cool to be able to get this out and share it with you guys. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe. Peace.